Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Can I have a quick plus one in the chat? If I am visible as well as equally audible, then we would start right away. Can I have a quick plus one in the chat? If I am visible as well as Okay, I am visible. Okay, fair enough. Today we would be sorry. Today we would be discussing yesterday's problem of the day that is enripped the string too and this question is based on strings and greedy and this is an easy level problem with 51 percent success rate and this is an easy level problem now let us move to the problem statement and understand it better so we are given a string s so a string s is given and every substring of identical letters is replaced by a single instance of that letter followed by the hexadecimal representation of the number of occurrence of that letter what do you mean by this okay so first let us see every what is uh, let's understand this statement bit by bit every means sara each each one of them and what is this substring substring means that suppose there is a string with suppose a b c d e f okay fair enough and then the substring are contiguous subsequence okay so kya karna na? we are basically we can take b c d okay then we can take d e then we can take whole string okay then we can take a b okay a b b c d then d e f these are all the substring of s but 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 if we just take two instances like a b and then d so a b d is not a substring but it is a subsequence because it appears in the same sequence at is it there fair enough okay let's move forward with this okay let's move forward with this so now every substring of the identical letters is replaced by a single instance of that letter okay now suppose there is how much suppose there is a a a so a a a would be replaced by a single instance that is a followed by the hexadecimal representation of the number of occurrence of that letter how many occurrences of a are there there are three occurrences of a and then the string thus obtained is further encrypted by reversing it so now if a3 is reversed then it would be 3a itself fair enough now we need to print the encrypted string now for the people who don't know what is hexadecimal okay all the hexadecimal letters should be converted to lowercase letters that is what they are saying now let us see what is hexadecimal number itself okay so let's see this hexadecimal number uses 16 values to represent a number okay and the numbers from 0 to 9 are represented by the number 0 to 9 so if it is 0 then it is represented by 0 if this is 1 it is represented by 1 dot 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 and if it is 9 it is represented by 9 okay then if it is 10 it is represented by a if it is 11 it is represented by b if it is 12 it is represented by c if it is 13 it is represented by d if it is 14 it is represented by e and if it is 15 it is represented by f okay this is what is there in hexadecimal okay now how to calculate the hexadecimal hexadecimal like we calculate the binary form we can divide it by 2 whatever remainder is coming we can if it is less than less than equal to 9 we can just write 0 to 9 if it is greater than we would just write a b or c d correspondingly and then we would just print it from the reverse that is what if you want a clear picture of this 
then just search how to convert decimal to hexadecimal you would know that okay but now i suppose that you already know it okay then you have come to the solution of this now let's see how to solve this to solve this question if you know how to convert decimal to hexadecimal it would be kind of cake work for you why it is cake work for me siddharth okay if this was a cake work why is the question given okay yeah this is also a point so let's see how many characters are there okay so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 so we have a occurring 11 times so now if a is occurring 11 times then it is to be replaced with only one instance so let's replace it with one instance that is a itself and then 11 so 11 in hexadecimal is what it is b itself let's write a capital b now it is told that all hexadecimal letters should be converted to lower case letters so let's convert that also so now a would be converted to lower case b okay and then we have ab and then what we are told is that we need to further encrypt it by reversing it and then we need to reverse it so b a that is why the answer to this is b itself okay fair enough so let's see so what we are basically doing is ek character le rahe hain uske jitne number of occurrences hai wo hum is taraf likh rahe hain aur jitne suppose a 5 times hai to yahan par a likha a likhenge aur yahan par 5 likhenge 5 9 se kam hua uske barabar hai to we know that 5 is represented as 5 only in hexadecimal so a 5 और फिर हम लोग उसको रिवर्स कर दे रहे ओके एंड वट एवर वी आर डूइंग इन पेन एंड पेपर वी जस्ट नीड टू डू ओनली दिस इन दिली दिस इन द क्वेश्चन इट सेल्फ नाउ लेट्स टेक वन मोर एग्जाम्पल सो दैट वी इट वुड बी मोर क्लियर हाउ वी वुड वी आर सॉल्विंग इट सो लेट्स टेक दिस ओके सो वी हैव ए हाउ मेनी टाइम्स वी हैव ए फॉलोड बाई वन टाइम then we have b followed by one time and then c followed by one so that would be what a followed by the number of occurrence b followed by the number of occurrence c followed by the number of occurrence then what we need to do is we need to reverse this string reversing this this one would come here this c would come here this one would come here this b would come here this one would come here and this a would come here and this is the equal to this string only and this is how the value is coming to this side okay fair enough now let's see how can we implement this okay just like we said so what we need to do is we need to take a count to store the count of the number of occurrences that is just after that fair enough then we have the answer answer one to store the answer and then initially the character would be the first character and to compare it suppose there is a b c d so what i would do is i would start with this and then i would move to this then i would move to this then i would move to this okay so initially the count would be one because every character would at least have one occurrence fair enough then we would proceed if this character is equal to the previous character then we would increment the count okay and now if suppose a is done and now suppose b is there b is not equal to the previous character what we would do in that case let's see we would append the character first so let's append it so a b okay appended then we would find the hexadecimal representation how we would do that till the count is not equal to 0 till the remainder is not equal to 0 we would first take out the remainder if it is less than equal to 10 9 9 0 is to 9 then we would just add 0 plus whatever is there so what is this 0 plus the character whatever is there to convert it to the character else what we are doing is we are converting it to a so a is what suppose this is character a plus rem is what suppose rem is equals to rem is equals to 11 yeah so let's see yeah 10 okay suppose it is what this would be what this would be 11 itself okay so this would suppose this is 11 itself 
So, 11 minus 10 is equals to what? A character plus 1. A character plus 1 would be B itself. That is what we are doing. So, we are just converting. If it is equal to 11, we would get the corresponding. If it is less than 11, we would get the that thing. Here in, the, in this case, we would get only 1. Okay only 1 because it is having only one occurrence which is less than equal to 9 and then we would proceed if count divided by 16 and we would keep decrementing the value and we would append the hexadecimal value okay fair enough this is done as of now now this is this thing is done now what we need to do is suppose after doing all this suppose this is a this is b this is c and this is d and suppose after doing that there is a, some character that is still left okay like suppose uh, the string is somewhat like this okay so this is done but let's take an edge case to this now suppose the string is a a this this simple string and it will describe the edge case that we are having so this is what a a so in this case the count would be equal to 2 and the count would be equal to 2 and we would be getting out of this loop and this is not getting updated and we are not adding to the answer so let's add to the answer so what we need to do is if the count is greater than that so first we would add that to the answer okay let's add to the answer now a and then we would come to the count and 2 would be equal to 2 only because it is less than 9 and then it would be what 2 itself a2 so a2 is now we have now the only thing that remains is that we need to reverse this string okay we need to reverse this string so you can directly reverse the resultant string also by using just rev or else what you can do is we can just take a final answer another variable and we can suppose suppose we would start iterating from the back we would take this 2 write it here then we would take this a write it here and then we have 2a itself and then we would return 2a here itself okay so this was very simple okay but the implementation is a little bit cr tricky side and the last thing while loop okay as the view count is very less so i'm not asking but still i'm telling you if you are one still and wondering that why that last checking is also done suppose there are some leftover suppose this is a a if it is a a the count would be incremented to two and the a would be there so what we are doing is after we get out from the loop we just increment a to there and then we just write what is that 2 4 whatever is there so if possible can you explain the problem statement again because i joined just now okay so yeah i i would explain it but the stream has now at the stream uh, i have done explanation of the answer also so if i just explain you the problem statement then i move to the solution then i move to the implementation that would be the loop would again come from the reverse and the video the time amount of the video would be just 2x of it and i just need to do one more lap of it so what you can do is you can start by look at the video from the start itself and if you face any difficulty you can just ask me in the comment section or if you suppose you are having some more difficulty where you think i should be explaining you then you can just text me on linkedin my username is sadat hazra and i would be doing the needful okay so that's pretty much from my side i would still wait for one minute if you are kind of considered watching the stream okay okay let's wait for one minute and let's see the time itself okay yeah most welcome yes and please try to be on time from tomorrow thanks a lot by the way yes for understanding if you have any doubts you can ask me else the session would end when the timer strikes 30 seconds okay so that's it from my side thank you and have a nice day 
if you face any difficulty you can ask in the comment section or you can text me on LinkedIn my username is Siddharth Hazra thank you take care